In this episode, we go from South Florida isolation to a million dollar yacht club. So they told me that I have to cover my belly. <laughs> After living aboard our trawler for over two years, we have decided that a longer range vessel is required for circumnavigation. With COVID and the quarantine, we accelerated our five year plans into months. We've been selling all of our things in preparation for travel around the globe. We met three years ago, and our first date was to bring a boat from New York to Miami, which was going to be a one week, but turned to be a lifetime living off the grid. Come along with us for exploration of the unknown tropical islands, uncharted waters, exotic foods, and treasure hunting. We have been refitting our 55-foot steel motor sail for the past eight months and only one month to go. During this refit, we continue to live on our trawler and manage to escape weekends to unknown anchorages, test equipment, relax, explore and bring you videos of water adventures from all over South Florida. Hello Dawn Hunters, I'm Captain William. And I'm Dr. Yana. Hello on this very special day, Veterans Day. A salute to all those veterans who served this USA, our heroes. This is a personal salute also to my father who is 87. He had his uniform on this evening and he was going out to a special dinner and then plans to go out dancing afterward. He, he told me this evening that the real heroes are those that are no longer with us. That's why he wears his uniform today in honor of them. So take some time to live that dream, explore the world and don't wait. Hope you all enjoy this video and please, if you or your family have served, let us know in the comments. And we'd like to do a shout out to you guys in the next couple of videos. So come along with us. I hope you enjoy this video and it's gonna give you a little bit of an overview of what we do at Anchor in five days. And also a little recap for the ETA, how you call it? ETA storm. <laughs> uh, we did survive, as you can see, we are sitting here. Thank you so much everyone who was concerned and who wrote us comments and hello and thank you for everyone who joined us on that video because there was a bunch of new people. Hello. <laughs> yes, and we experienced really high wind gusts. Uh, I've been through category twos and threes here and we had some wind gusts that were equal to a category three. And there was some damage, but luckily uh, everything worked out well. Tons of rain, and we're back into our normal boat mode. Yep, yeah. so now to the video, and make sure you stick to the end because we're gonna do a short QA as always. Yeah, well, the orange thing's sitting there, the dinghy hit something. You gonna bring your drone down? Yeah. Hey! Hey! Are you copying it? For those of you new to the channel, this is the famous Miami River. From Miami Vice to tall skyscrapers, an amazing heritage.
South Miami and Biscayne Bay is a boating mecca. In 50 nautical miles, you can go from blue water shipwrecks, reef dive shelves, and the best sport fishing on East Coast. Imagine in six short hours at trawler speed, you'll find an anchor location that for days not a person is around you. Only lobsters, fish, and beautiful blue water. I thought he gonna say white. What's the chain doing? Right in front of us. And now it's going on. Right. Right <laughs> this doesn't look like compressor to me. That's a very good <laughs> Looks like a hand pump. It's like putting um, an air in the tire of the bike. Okay, let's pump this little thing up. Oh, where, where? Mm -hmm. Maybe you're just gonna plug it in and it's gonna work? Yeah. Oh, we thought so. Why is everything so complicated? Why are they supposed to like give you things with this? And then uh. get set up. Complications. Little happiness of lives. What are you looking up there, hmm? Captain? <laughs> I see some boats in the marina, so I wasn't sure if they would have milk. 
<laughs> yeah, we are almost out. So you're not sure they're gonna have milk? Who cares? Well, I do. <laughs> and you do because otherwise you're not gonna have coffee. Beautiful today. So you're gonna um you're gonna put down the dinghy? First we put the L drive back on it. Oh the motor is not ready yet? No. We changed the impeller. So we're gonna put that on now before the sun gets too hot. And then drop it in the water and And hope for the best. For the <laughs> Yesterday we figured a cool thing. If we make a bunch of espressos in advance and then put them in a fridge, then for the rest of the day we can be making cold coffees. And that's why we are out of milk, because it was very good. Imagine to drink the whole cup of uh, this espresso. There you go, my love. There's no one around us. Real island life. William is fixing his dinghy on the swing platform with water everywhere. Did you ever feel mango? Like this. When it's ripe, it just goes that easy. Gonna help it. Now, it's gonna be stuck on all my teeth. Don't bite into mango. That's how the proper mango seed should look after you're done with it. Delicious. If you like oatmeal, try it with mango. Mm. William has 500 straps around the dinghy to put the dinghy down is like an hour job. Let's go for a dinghy ride. Sure, honey. I'll be there in two hours. Most of the time you have to have one person each side cranking like this. I'm sure cranking is happening when we have to put it back up. And now you can touch the rat onto that terminal hard. Now maybe we can go for dinghy riding if the motor is fixed. Starfish attacking the dinghy. I want you to come here and hold the dinghy. That. Always great adventures with William. We did not fill the tank while the dinghy was in the boatyard, so I had to do it. How is it running? It's not. Oh? It's only idling. It's not running like it should be. It might be burning out the old gas. And imagine, after finally getting the dinghy on the way, our gas gauge was wrong. We need to get gas, so off to the private Million Dollar Ocean Reef Club. Will they accept us? Got 
better than rowing. We'll do anything to get that milk. Little lighthouse is pretty. Yeah, I think it's called Ocean Reef Club. Very nice boats, actually. It's supposed to be pretty expensive. Did they tell you that William spends an hour tying the boat when we arrive somewhere? Let's see how he gonna how much time he gonna spend on tying the dinghy. <laughs> to go have a drink <laughs> at the roll bar here. Well, though they told me that I have to cover my belly. She said you look nice, but please you have to cover your midriff because we can't have any midriff showing. You have to have Ocean Reef Club card to be able to purchase anything, anything. On, the property. on the property. How That's do you like that? That was a great little excursion to the store and to the ocean club where you can't buy anything, <laughs> can't eat, but if you need just a store, that's fine. You know, maybe there's gas stock out here. Alright, you stand up and get it? So I just tied? Yep. Yeah. No ice cream? No ice cream. No nothing. A lot of sparkles. Every yacht here is kept so good. They're all so perfect. Bumpers, little towels up there, all rolled up and fancy. Waiting for the owner to come out and make them dirty. Yeah, he's a long stay. Oh, Dallas, Texas. This way, he was flying along. I didn't see anything. Always nice to return and see your boat. She's patiently waiting. Everything is ready. Wow, what a trip. The dinghy definitely got a workout. Yep. While I was editing, I realized that there was like 15 hours of content we recorded. 
and I'm like, okay, I can probably make two hour long video, but I decided to split it in two parts. So you up to for the second part. Cool. So I get to see our trip twice. I guess so. <laughs> All right, now to the Q and A. More and more questions are coming in, so we have a few to answer here. Thank you so much, guys, for leaving comments and questions. It's a delight to answer them. Perry, Don Hunters, how do you like Harbor Freight tools? I hear they have quite a reputation. Well, Harbor Freight tools are great if you're going to use it quickly and throw it away. I, I'm a more of an advocate of buy a good tool, take care of it, and make it last. So I wouldn't recommend the Harbor Freight tools for boat work and boat yard. So why do you have them? They're leftovers from a construction site. Okay, that answers that. Next, what do you do with all your equipment, drill press, in parentheses, when you finished and leave? Thank you for the question, Clay. Ooh, thanks, Clay. Put me on the spot. Put him on the spot because that's my question, too. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with all that tools? Yeah, we're buying a barge so it can haul my shop behind for where we go. <laughs> in all honesty, uh, I'm a businessman. I start businesses, maybe 20 of them, since 1988. I started a marine engineering shop here at the marina, and I think I'm going to continue doing the design work while we're traveling where I can get internet and have someone here take over the shop and do the installs. So it's a uh, temporary investment for our boat, and we'll see if somebody wants to carry it on. So they, to answer that, they're not all of them going with us, but no. some, but some do. Yes. Some do. Okay. Next question is from Carlos. Hi guys. I've been following you for a while and I'm wondering if you can build a hardtop for my heteros. Another interesting question. The answer is yes. Uh, we're building three different hardtops for boats in the marina. It seems like there's quite a market because the solar cells then go on top of the hardtop, so it's a dual function. And your boat doesn't really have to be here. We can find a boat that is the same boat, take the measurements, build the hardtop, design it. The answer, yes. And and so where should they contact you? Uh, send an email. Send an email at hello at dawn-hunters.com. Always with boat type, year, and make, so we can do a little bit of research. Yep. Okay, and the last question for today is, here is one for your Q&A show. Other than me, has anyone inappropriate or rude comments? Well, Perry, your comments are not inappropriate or rude. But to answer this, yeah, we just got one one hour ago. Clean up your boat, Captain. There is crap everywhere. <laughs> Captain Steve told you. What do you have to answer to Captain Steve? You know, we're growing. We've got a great channel. We're still young. We're learning about all of this. And to me, any comment is valuable. Whether it's a negative or a positive, I really don't care. Because the negative comment sometimes has truth to it. Yeah, the boat is a mess. We're working on two boats. And when we're ready to go, it's a disaster. If we were really to hit a storm, we would kind of have a blender where everything would be all mixed together. <laughs> with, so, us, with our guts. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, I don't, mind the, I don't mind the comments that are a little bit, uh, I guess, teasing and poking fun. We have age differences. We have culture differences. And that means people are taking time to watch us. So bring them on. Good, bad, whatever. Bring them on. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a part two. Bye.